In this video, you will learn how to design a veneer using the Practice Lab Anatomy Design module. Once in the design module, you will start with setting the margin line. Auto setting of the margin line is not available for a veneer. You will need to place the first point on the margin line and then several others on the way until you make a full circle. When you place a point, the line will always follow the sharpest edges to give you a proposition for further steps. When you have placed the margin line, you can always adjust it by dragging it to a chosen point. Adjustment is possible from positive and negative sides of the scan. When the margin line has been set, click Next to move to the insertion direction step. The software will automatically set the insertion direction for your restoration. You can, however, adjust the insertion direction by moving the view of the scan until you are satisfied and then click the From View button. Make sure that there are no undercuts by looking for any areas which are now highlighted in red and yellow. If there are undercuts, then you can reposition or once again click the Auto button. Having the insertion direction set, click Next to go to the Anatomy Design step. At this stage, the software gives you an initial placement of a tooth. Start with setting it in the correct position in relation to the other teeth in the arch and antagonist. The Transform tool will help you with this. Use the control spheres to move the tooth or click on the tooth and drag. Having the right position of the tooth, go to Automatic Tools and click Reconnect to the margin line to have it connected to the margin line. Then use the other design tools to adjust the design. Use the Morph tool to apply changes to different surfaces. Click Shift and mouse scroll to change the radius of a tool. Then click on a chosen point on the tooth and drag to make changes. Next, use the wax knife to add and remove material from the design as well as to smooth it. Click Shift and scroll to change the radius or amplitude of a tool or use the sliders for that. By using the design tools, you can add, remove, change the shape of the design and make it smoother. Now you can go to the Contacts tools. Among these tools, you will find the Occlusal button, where you can set the distance value and enforce it. At the end, go back to Automatic Tools, where you can set the recommended value of the minimum thickness and enforce it. Then click on Enforce Minimum Thickness to be sure that the design meets the material requirements and check how it may affect your design. If the minimum thickness has not been violated, there will not be any visible changes. At every step of designing a restoration, you can use the Virtual Dynamic Articulator to check contact points of the restoration in dynamic occlusion. When your design is ready, you can move to the next step which is the CAM module. Now you know how to design a veneer. Thank you for watching.